Hello back again on the Top Recap channel. This time I will tell a movies entitled The Killer's Game. Let's get straight into the storyline. The story begins by showing the atmosphere in a dance performance hall mostly attended by wealthy people. Among the many visitors, a man named Joe was monitored one of the VIP guests. However, the guest had several bodyguards guarding him. Even so, Joe was trained and had John Wick-like fighting skills, so he could knock out the bodyguards. Realizing Joe's presence, the VIP guest immediately offered to pay three times as long as Joe didn't kill him. However, Joe was not an easy person to compromise with. Finally, he immediately finished off his target with one shot. Joe suddenly experienced dizziness and blurred vision when he was about to leave. Fortunately, he managed to escape in time before the other bodyguards arrived. The security guard thought that it was the bodyguard who had killed those people. Not wanting to be arrested, the bodyguard jumped onto the stage, sending all the guests into a panic after hearing the gunshots. Amid the panic, a woman accidentally fell down because she was nudged by other visitors running for their lives. That's when Joe came and helped her out of the building. However, his headache suddenly reappeared. Seeing Joe in pain, the woman immediately asked one of her teammates to give her a drink. Unfortunately, when she returned, Joe disappeared. The next day, because his headache was still recurring, Joe went to see his acquaintance, Dr. Kagan. From the results of the examination, Dr. Kagan said there were no symptoms of a tumor and that it was probably just trauma to his head due to repeated injuries. However, Dr. Kagan will conduct laboratory tests to determine Joe's health condition and obtain a more definitive result. I'll run some more tests. After the hospital, Joe went to meet his friend Zvi. Zvi is his mentor and a boss who often gives Joe jobs. Joe came there to ask for payment for successfully eliminating the VIP guest. Apart from being a former soldier, Joe works as a professional hitman. However, Joe only kills criminals and never hurts innocent people. Upon hearing of Joe's worsening health condition, Zvi suggested that Joe take a break from work by going on holiday and enjoying his own life. You need a vacation. Get some sun. Meet a nice girl. Where am I going to meet a nice girl? When discussing women, Joe suddenly remembers the woman he met at the performance hall at that time. After looking for information about where the woman was, Joe went to a dance practice place frequented by the woman. As it turned out, Joe met the woman to return her mobile phone, which he had accidentally carried. The woman wanted to invite Joe to have dinner together as a thank you. Because Joe was still hesitant to accept her invitation, the woman gave Joe her mobile number and name. That's how Joe finds out that the woman's name is Maze. Maze. Macy. Initially, Joe was not in the mood to get acquainted with any woman. He even almost threw away Maze's mobile number. But in the end, Joe kept the number and sent Maze a message to tell her he had accepted the invitation to dinner. It's Joe. Would love to. Send. That night, Joe enjoyed a romantic dinner with Maze. Even though it was their first meeting, they were not awkward chatting like friends who had known each other for a long time. Maze tells him about her experience as a dancer, while Joe tells her about his time as a soldier in the military. However, Joe keeps his true identity as a hitman a secret and says he plans to retire. Since that dinner, they grew closer and often spent time together between Joe's assignments as a hitman. You did, you're smiling right now. <laughs> Am I? I suit you. Joe also confided his closeness with Maze to Zvi when they met. Joe said he planned to retire early as a hitman before Maze knew his true identity. In fact, Joe asked Zvi for help making him a life insurance policy to show Maze that his work was good. In addition, Joe wants to invite Zvi and his wife to attend Maze's birthday party because they are the only family Joe has. Because Zvi already considered Joe as his own brother, he did not mind accepting the invitation. I was also thinking I should get a life insurance policy. Make something look good on paper. Fake it. For Maisie. Very well. So Maisie wants to have a birthday dinner for me and I told her I'd invite friends. Very well. As promised, Zivi and his wife Sharon attended Maisie's birthday party. At the party, Maze looked so familiar chatting with them. In their conversation, Sharon said that Maze did not need to worry about Joe because she had known Joe for a long time and knew that Joe was the best man she had ever met. Maze also believes that Joe is indeed a good man and admits that she has liked Joe since the first sight. 
While the women gossiped, Joe and Zavi continued their conversation. As the older one, Zavi suggested that Joe tell Maze about his job before it was too late, because Zavi was sure that if Maze really loved Joe, she would definitely accept Joe for who he was. If you're getting serious with Maze, tell her what you do. All of it. If Maze loves you, she'll understand. You played by the rules. Women respect integrity. A few days later, Joe's laboratory test results came out. But unfortunately, Joe had to get bad news, because the test results showed that he had CJD, often called Kreutzfeldt-Jakob, which is a neurological disorder in the brain that will make the patient's condition worsen over time. What shocked him even more was that the disease was incurable, neither with chemotherapy nor any medication. Dr. Kagan also said that Joe only had three months to survive. Best case, three months. If you need some therapy, some counseling. Yeah. Voluntary movement, shaking hands, CJD, early symptoms, anxiety, depression, loss. After learning that painful fact, Joe's life seemed to shatter instantly. He didn't expect that all the injuries he sustained from his work could lead to a deadly disease like this. Because of his frustration, Joe initially thought of committing suicide. However, because he could not withdraw his insurance funds if he ended his own life, he went to Zavi to organize his death plan. In fact, Joe was willing to spend $2 million, so Zavi is willing to find a hitman to finish him off. Of course, Zavi immediately refused the ridiculous request because how could he have the heart to kill his own best friend? No, Joseph, it, it, this is madness. She has to believe it, so I'll pay you to assign an assassin. You too, so. No. That's what I've decided. Thank you. Because Joe knew that Zavi would never want to kill him, Joe was finally forced to meet one of his enemies named Mariana. It is known that Mariana also works as a supplier of hitmen like Zvi. At first, Mariana refuses because she thinks Joe wants to ask for her help. Still, when Joe said that the target he wanted to kill was himself, Mariana immediately agreed. For Mariana, killing Joe was a golden opportunity that should not be wasted, because finally, she could take revenge on Joe, who had arrested her father. With great pleasure, Mariana agreed to Joe's request, and would find the most reliable hitman to kill him. It gets me wet. Joe then asked for time until midnight before being killed by the hitman. The clock starts at midnight. You're the client, Mr. Flood. After that, Mariana began spreading Joe's resume to the hitman she knew. Some refused because they thought the fee was too low, and some were very enthusiastic because it was an honor if they could kill the best hitman in Europe like Joe. Elsewhere, Joe meets Maze to go on a date. However, in the middle of their date, Joe suddenly engaged Maze in a serious conversation. Joe said that he had to go and asked Maze not to wait. Hearing Joe's words, Maze immediately understood that Joe wanted them to break up. Because she is disappointed with Joe's decision, Maze can only leave with a broken feeling because she has to part with the person she loves. Remember what you had, what you threw away. Back home, Joe was already preparing himself before the last seconds of his life would end tonight. Not wanting to disappoint Maze further, Joe left a voice message for Maze. In the voice message, Joe tells Maze his reasons for leaving, which he cannot express directly in front of the woman he loves. She only hoped that Maze would forgive him and continue her life better, even without him. You make me free. You make me... You make me feel... Maze, by the time you get this, I'll be gone. I've got Kreutzfeld. I can't even say it, Maze. I've got a, a brain disorder. And it's gonna kill me. Joe received a call from Dr. Kagan. On the phone, Dr. Kagan informed him that his laboratory test results had been switched with another patient. So, Joe did not have any disease at all, and his condition was still healthy for years. Hearing the news, Joe immediately panicked because he only had four minutes before the hitmen killed him. Oh, Flood, thank God. There's been a mistake. You do not have Kreutzfeld Jakob disease. You're not going to die. In fact, there's nothing on earth to stop you from leading a long and healthy life. Doc, I'm gonna have to call you back. Outside, a group of hitmen called the Gang Goyang arrived at Joe's residence. It turns out that they are one of the hitmen who are interested in killing Joe for $2 million. 
Secretly hiding somewhere, Joe told the gang leader that there was a mistake and he wanted to cancel the contract. However, they didn't care and would still finish Joe off tonight. Since the fight was inevitable, Joe faced the onslaught of the Goyang gang. <laughs> Thanks to his experience as a soldier and the best professional hitman in Europe, Joe could knock out all members of the Goyang gang in a short time. Even the gang leader was defeated by Joe with a single slash. Joga Goyang. After that, Joe immediately contacted Mariana to cancel their contract. Unfortunately, Mariana, who has a grudge against Joe, cannot let him live. In fact, her desire to kill Joe is even greater. She also vowed to send all the hitmen in the world to chase Joe wherever he hid. I'm calling in every hit in Europe, you hear me? <laughs> Not long after, there was the sound of a motorbike approaching him. Joe realized that another hitman wanted to finish him off tonight. Knowing the unsafe situation, Joe immediately went to a quieter place to face the next hitman again. This time, he faced off against two hitman brothers called the Langos brothers. These two hitman brothers were famous for their riding skills used to kill their targets. Although Joe had a hard time dealing with those who were so agile and attacking him on a motorbike, Joe managed to flatten the two brothers with his strength. Come on! Watch out! Knowing that the two groups of hitmen she had hired were all defeated, Mariana expanded the range of her search by increasing the amount of the fee to $4 million. This pay increase attracted many hitmen from various countries to accept this job offer. Another delivery in Budapest. Elsewhere, Maze, still sad after being dumped, suddenly gets a voice message from Joe. In the message, Joe asks Maze to go as far away as possible because she is in danger. Knowing that Joe is in trouble, Maze decides she will do anything to stay in the life of the man she loves. On the other hand, Joe went to Zvi's residence to hide for a while. It turns out that Zvi already knows that Joe is not sick and is being chased by Mariana's hitmen. And because Joe cannot kill him due to a contract, he intends to kill all the hitmen at once so that Mariana agrees to revoke the contract. Joe then asks Zvi to help send money to Maze as an escape fee and asks for weapons to face the hitmen alone. Unfortunately, however, Zivi no longer has a weapon after deciding to retire from his job. All he has now are explosives left over from his previous job. Explosives? That's it? Left over from the Merabi job. Alright, well, if we're gonna bring them all to me, we gotta be slick. They can't think it's a Not long after, Sharon comes to give a free massage to Joe, who often complains of headaches. As it turns out, Sharon is a former professional massage therapist who believes she can cure Joe with her massage. Although Zvi doubts his wife's ability and worries about breaking Joe's neck, who would have thought that after being given a special massage with Sharon's magic hands, Joe's headaches suddenly disappear and his vision becomes clear again. My headache's gone! <laughs> Near where Maze lives, a professional hitman named Lovedoll watches Maze with his colleague Money. Apparently, Mariana specifically asked Lovedoll to get rid of Joe. Mariana also told him to kidnap Maze to lure Joe out of hiding. Speak. I'm giving you an edge. Flood has a girlfriend. Make sure he doesn't leave Budapest to life. Meanwhile, according to Joe's instructions, Maze hurriedly packed her clothes to run away, even though she still didn't know what had happened to her boyfriend. Maze was increasingly convinced that Joe was in serious trouble after suddenly getting a remittance of 500,000 in her account. However, when she was about to leave, Love Doll had intercepted her first. On the other hand, Mariana received news from her men that Joe's hiding place had been found. Based on the information obtained, it was known that Joe was hiding in an empty castle far from the city. After learning the news, Mariana instructed her hitmen to attack Joe together. Location update. Castle. The first hitmen to arrive at the castle were the Mackenzie brothers, Rory and Angus. Joe had to face them in a fierce fight with his bare hands. Shade! <laughs> 
However, he did not give up so easily. As the two brothers argued, Joe took the opportunity to strike back. In the end, Joe won the fight and finished the Mackenzie brothers. <laughs> Meanwhile, another pair of hitmen, Ginny and Tanya, came shooting at Joe with a gun. Luckily, Joe immediately takes cover behind Angus's lifeless body. As Joe hid, Ginny and Tanya continued to shoot at him. However, a second explosion sent Joe bouncing into the wall and met another hitman, Botas. Without further ado, Botas attacks Joe with a dancer-style fighting style. Since their fight ended in a draw, they changed their fighting style to using swords. Bodas, pressed after losing the sword fight, immediately took Ginny's gun, which was left behind. When Bodas was busy shooting at Joe, he was instead hit by a bomb trap attached to the castle wall. Love Doll's car was just arriving outside the castle. He guessed that Joe must be busy caring for the hitmen chasing him. Lovedall told his partner Money to watch Maze while he went out to look around the castle. Later, Lovedall contacted Joe and told him to surrender immediately if he wanted to save Maze. Me for her. That's the real real. When Joe wanted to get out of the castle, it turned out that the castle was surrounded by Mariana's men led by Max. However, Joe deliberately attracts his enemies to the castle, so it doesn't take long for him to defeat them with the traps that have been prepared. After leaving the castle, Joe met Lovedall, who was waiting for him. However, suddenly, a car drove fast and hit Lovedall from behind. It turns out that the person who hit Lovedall was Maze, who managed to escape after hitting Money unconscious. Long story short, Joe and Maze escaped from the hitmen for a while. On the way, Joe finally confessed to Maze that he had been working as a hitman. He also explained about the misdiagnosis of his illness until he was finally chased by the hitmen who were after his life. Joe also said that he had retired as a hitman to protect Maze. It's not just Joe who has a secret, it turns out that Maze also has something she hasn't had time to tell Joe. When Joe asked to break up, Maze wanted to tell him she was pregnant with Joe's child. Hearing the news, Joe was surprised because he did not expect to become a father. I'm pregnant, Joe. I tried to tell you the other night. However, after that, Maze suddenly became unconscious. When examined, it turned out that Maze had been shot in the shoulder. Joe immediately took her to a nearby church. Inside the church, Joe meets a priest and asks for his help to call a doctor. However, the priest said that the nearest doctor was 40 kilometers away. Feeling that time was running out, Joe asked Maze to get married on the spot. Will you marry me? Be my wife. Yeah. 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 As they were about to say their vows, Lovedall suddenly appeared and opened fire on them. Although Joe managed to save Maze, unfortunately, the shot hit the priest. Shit. At the same time, Max comes to the church and stops Lovedall, who wants to chase Joe. On the other hand, Joe took advantage of this opportunity to take Maze and the priest to hide in another room. Blood! You know how this goes. The fight between Joe, Lovedall, and Max ensued. Think there's a happily ever after for guys like us? After that, Joe had to deal with Max. However, when Joe pointed his gun at Max, the bullets ran out. Joe initially thought that his life could not be saved, but surprisingly, Max was killed by Maze, who shot him without hesitation. Okay. He was going to. I know. Elsewhere, Mariana was getting ready to escape after knowing all her men had been defeated. However, her plan was foiled by Zvi, who suddenly appeared and shot her dead. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. At the film's end, Love Doll is seen surviving despite being badly injured. Meanwhile, Joe and Maze held the wedding they had always dreamed of. Joe also truly repented and retired from his job as a hitman. 
Now, his only priority is to live in peace with his wife and their future child without being chased by hitmen anymore.